Yo, what's going on fellas? Got a little wager game for you guys today, and I am the Clippers playing the Cavaliers, and honestly, I was a bit nervous going into this game just because I know the Cavs are super OP this year, obviously with LeBron, Kyrie, Kevin Love, but the Clippers are a deep team, and I kind of knew that I would get my scoring, my points, but I wasn't sure about my defense, and in this video you'll see a few plays that will be in the guide as CP3 gets a tough and one right there. The guide does drop October 27th, probably about 7.30 that day. I'll release two videos that day, and at 7.30 I'll release the promo and then the links to the guide itself. And for the first three to five days, it'll be on PayPal. Then after that, it'll be on Google Play, iTunes, and uh, Amazon. But LeBron gets another and one right there. LeBron's just a tank this year. I mean, he's really unstoppable in real life into the game so why not be both but this play will also be in the guide i know people have been asking me about it but basically it's a standing dunk play and you have a shooter in the corner and a mid-range shooter to kick it out to in case you get double teamed i try to take a jumper right there with blake blake is pretty good for mid-range usually but he just missed there Kyrie pulls up with a nice three right in my face 12 to 9 lebron scores on the fast break dunk which i believe he just intercepted my pass right there but pushing the ball with cp3 Gonna find Blake Griffin on the lead pass. He didn't react fast enough with Christian Thompson. And speaking of Thompson, he actually just re-signed for like five years, 84 million, I believe, which I personally don't agree with just because he's a backup. And really, he was only really good in the finals when Kevin Love and Kyrie and all of them were out, including right. Verizhao. Honestly, I think they need to trade Verizhao just because people are gonna get a little bit mad about his contract and you're gonna want to see him play more but i find blake on the lob right here after he turned the ball over inbounds lobs this year are pretty nice a bit op because they really don't get bumped but lebron just destroys blake griffin right there pushing the ball with cp3 gonna try a lead pass right here and deandre cannot finish over verizhal falls to the court no foul call right there he pulls up the three with jr smith and jr and shumper for some reason i don't know if it's just me but I cannot shoot with them, especially this year. I mean, JR is normally like a 2K king. Him and Rudy Gay are sort of alike. But for some reason, I cannot shoot with either of them. Anyway, he scores there. He's up two. And I'm coming back down the court with CP3 right here, who's just a really tough guard to actually guard this year. I mean, he's... I don't think he's one of the best point guards in 2K. Definitely is in real life. I think point guards like... Westbrook and D Rose are better just in the game because it favors more attacking the rim this year pushing the ball with CP3 gonna use a pick from DeAndre to at least try to find some sort of lane and he really doesn't come to me that's the weird thing about picks it's like wherever you call them that's where they go to to set the pick they don't come to the point guard which is kind of annoying but Reddick hits a three right there LeBron pushing the ball Probably going to give the to Kevin Love right here. Nope, Kevin Love cannot convert on Reddick and Paul Pierce, which is just hilarious. But going to find Reddick on the wing for another three. And Reddick, I think, has like an A-plus three rating, I'm pretty sure. Him and Eric Gordon are two of the best three-point shooters in the game. Uh, he's a bit streaky, but that's how he is in real life. Anyway, coming back down the court with CP3. Find DeAndre under the rim for the nice standing dunk right there. Up by six. He throws the ball to Blake Griffin, pretty much. Blake intercepts it like Cam Chancellor. Find DJ again. Another two points. And this is where I started to pull away. He was just making dumb turnovers. I find Chris Paul off the inbounds with a three right there. Right over J.R. Smith's face. And he really can't do nothing about the momentum run. I try to take a three right there with Paul Pierce. Don't hit it, but Chris Paul gets the re. Gonna find Blake under the rim, and I thought this pass may have been intercepted by Mozgov, but it wasn't. Blake has a reverse standing dunk, which was pretty interesting. And speaking of standing dunks, let me know how that post move is working for you guys. I've tried it a few times in regular games. It works still the same. I mean, obviously you can't do it versus a double team because in the post you lose the ball really easily. So if they're doubling with a guard, they're probably gonna rip you the majority of the time. But Gonna find DeAndre back under the rim for another standing dunk over Love and Mozgov. And that's interesting because I have normally expect Biggs to finish under the rim with a high dunk rating. But for some reason over the past, I don't know, maybe a week, I've seen most or a few Biggs actually. Like in my league, for example, like Andre Drummond 
will just miss a dunk just because a guard jumped at him. Like, it's making no sense to me. A bit too many missed dunks. So hopefully that is toned down a little bit. I don't know what's the cause of it, but it's not actually too frustrating. And actually, I've come to like the game a bit more now that I appreciate how bad the shooting was or how overpowered it was in patch 4 for 2K15. I've just come to live with it. You gotta take smarter shots. But LeBron dunks all over me right there. I'm up 12, pushing the ball with CP3. And actually, my pass is going to get tipped here, which was kind of lucky. I find Redick on the wing again for another wide open three. He hits that bitch up 11 at the moment. Redick apparently can't lob to DeAndre, who can just jump into the ceiling pretty much. But he passes the Miles guy right here. Should have took that shot under the rim, but he takes a three with Kyrie. Misses that from like 30 feet at least. DeAndre gets the ball, find Redick, lob it to Blake, I believe, right here. Blake converts the lob, up 13, pulling away. There's nothing he can really do anymore. I mean, 13-point lead, I feel sort of comfortable, and this here is 2K anyway. It's not nearly as bad as last year, but when I say that, Kyrie hits a 3, and he hit another 3 after this, I believe, with LeBron. But I'm going to find DeAndre under the rim again. He converts that 2 right over Mozgov pretty easily. And I'm pushing the ball with CP3. I find Paul Pierce, and that animation needs to go. It's just a bit annoying, but he's going to quit out right here. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like and subscribe if you are new to the channel. I'm out. Peace.